Hi, it's Lisa Cuneo, and welcome to my scrapbook table. This layout is for day 24 of Scraptember, and the prompt for today was stars. I am working <clears throat> on some photos taken February of 23. Um, over this month, and maybe even a little before or after, you'll probably see pages. They're scattered throughout because I'm using them for different prompts and different hops. But this was a big family celebration. Um, all but one member of our extended family was there, which is pretty rare. So I'm going to ink the edges, but I didn't have you watch that. And what I did for this page and another one or two was I pulled out some embellishments that I had, um, a Simple Stories birthday kit. I think it's just called Celebrate. But I didn't have any of the papers or anything that went with them. All I have is die cuts and foam stickers and thickers and that sort of thing. So I went through my stash and built a kit based on the stickers and things. And I found these papers. I don't know where they're from. Um, they're just in my stash, sorted by color. I have my cardstock and all my 12 by 12 paper almost is sorted by color. Um, solids by color and then prints by color. I do have a few categories of their own, but most of my 12 by 12 is sorted this way after it is, <clears throat> like after I'm done with a collection and there's any left, or if I just have random things that I picked up at a sale. So I created a photo block in the center there, and there will be a flip flap photo thing on the far left because I had three pictures of this little guy that I wanted on this page, but I didn't really have room. So now I'm choosing some embellishments. I put the banner because that felt very birthday-y up at the top. This says yay, yay. Um, we live in Ohio, and this was in Georgia. We flew down the day before, so we actually got to spend a little bit of extra time with these three kiddos who live there, and that was really fun for us because we don't get to see them very often. So you can see I've done my journaling on journaling strips. I've used those before on, this, on my channel. You've seen those. I cut them out with a die and then just do my writing. Um, I adhered them with the adhesive that you see there on the right. It's Creative Memories. Um, it's like a temporary adhesive, and that lets me get them placed where I want. And then I go back with my liquid glue and adhere them again. Um, that repositionable adhesive might turn permanent. I don't really know. But I just always go back with my liquid glue and adhere them down a little more permanently. So now I am fixing up the three photos that are going to be in the flip flap. I wanted a frame around not only the photo that is on the directly on the layout, but also a frame within the flip flap. So that's what that blue square is going to be. I was having trouble getting this one on straight. It felt like they were cut crooked, but I was checking there. They really weren't. It just took a little extra time. Um, I was at a crop when I was doing this, and this is one of the last layouts that I did. I was pretty tired, so this one took a little while for me to put together. I just wasn't, wasn't able to think as clearly as I would have liked. <clears throat> And this picture that you see right there, um, that's Liam and his Uncle Jay. And that will be the photo that is on top for this flip flap once it's in the album and in the page protector. And then I put the flip flap on the page protector. <clears throat> Excuse me. As I do this voiceover, I'm home alone today and I haven't talked much yet. So I guess that's why I'm... My voice isn't quite normal. Um, 
One thing I will tell you is that you'll see in the still shots, there is some splatter on this page. I didn't do it on camera because I didn't um, have like what I needed to prevent the mess of the splatter when I was at the crop. So I didn't do that until I was here at home. I used Nuvo drops mixed with water and the color is just ebony black. And so those are splattered. I also cut a few smaller journaling strips to continue the journaling that I didn't quite have room for on the far left. And that brings it to the top right. So the prompt for today is stars. I don't use a ton of stars in my scrapbooking. Um, it's not that I don't like them. I just, it doesn't occur to me. So when I saw this prompt for stars and that this birthday collection from Simple Stories had some stars in it, I thought that was a good match. I love this birthday cake and it fits just right. This isn't really an embellishment cluster. It's more of an embellishment column. It's different than my usual, but I, I like how it turned out and what it added to my layout. <clears throat> and here I'm adding... The last of the stars, there aren't a ton, but I do have some on each page. That one I'm having trouble getting stuck down, or getting it where I want it, I guess. And then, <clears throat> there's just a couple more, but I do look through and see if there's anything else I want to put on the page. And I pull another star. From here and then I realized the yay yay was not stuck down yet. Um, with these cardstock stickers, I usually um, I don't think that's what they're called, but you know what I mean. They're thicker than a sticker. I usually use some liquid glue to add a little extra adhesive. So this layout is done, except you'll see that there is splatter in the still shots, which are here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you will check out the other people playing along with Scrap Timber, and I hope you get to create something in your scrapbook room very soon. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye.